take one teaspoon before going to sleep and your blood sugar levels will decrease by 19.3 milligrams per dl your cholesterol will decrease by 10.1 percent your blood pressure will decrease and your creatinine levels will decrease too Welcome to Ravalo Kitty. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and I've been working with people suffering from kidney problems for almost 10 years now. Today, we are going to see exactly how to use the most powerful superfood in the world to lower your creatinine levels. Guys, this remedy is not something you see every day. This green powder is actually considered the most nutrient-dense food on the planet. This is a favorite food for vegetarians and vegans because it is one of the best blood sources of iron in existence. It's also incredibly high in calcium with over 26 times the calcium in milk. It also contains many of the vitamins someone with kidney problems needs the most, including vitamin B1, B3, and B6, but also folic acid, vitamin C, vitamin D, and more. Wow! This food is so rich in nutrients with proven health benefits, NASA is sending it to the International Space Station to prevent astronauts from losing bone and muscle density and from having heart problems. It's also one of the most powerful antioxidants on Earth, four times more powerful than blueberries. And guys, the other reason why I'm showing you this superfood today is because it was recently studied for its ability of lowering creatinine levels in chronic kidney disease. And, well, what researchers found out about this food will surprise you. So, what is this green powder you see here? This is actually a cyanobacteria, often referred to as blue-green algae. Have you already guessed what is this? This is spirulina. Yeah, I bet you didn't know how healthy spirulina can actually is for the kidneys. But unlike what many people will tell you, never eat spirulina during the day. Yes, Spirulina also comes with a danger that can be avoided if you watch this video until the end. But this can be easily avoided. So please don't take spirulina before watching this video. Okay, time to see what happens to your kidneys when you start to take spirulina every day. Spirulina is a tiny alga that lives in fresh and salt water and produces oxygen through photosynthesis. This means that it's actually loaded with chlorophyll, which helps alkalize your body. This is the first way in which it will help you lower creatinine levels. Another very important benefit to consider, blood sugar control. Studies on type 2 diabetes patients link spirulina to significantly lower blood sugar levels. In some cases, it has outperformed popular diabetes drugs including metformin. Incredible! Now guys, treating diabetes naturally is one of the most effective strategies to reverse diabetic kidney disease. Yes, this is actually possible. And while spirulina can help, there's also a vitamin that can lower blood sugar levels by 31.5 mg per dl. You may want to know more about it in my video up here. Now, spirulina has also been shown to help detoxify your body of heavy metals. In fact, a recent study found that it detoxifies your body of the heavy metal arsenic, which is very dangerous. Arsenic may even cause liver and kidney failure. And spirulina can help. Also, spirulina is a powerful anti-inflammatory and can be used to reduce the pain from migraines, arthritis, and more. And by the way, this anti-inflammatory effect is the reason why I use it. It's a very noticeable effect, actually. 
Another important benefit is to deal with anemia. Iron deficiency anemia is a very common in kidney disease and spirulina may help, not to mention that spirulina may be very effective in reducing high blood pressure up to 11 over 7 millimeters of mercury. Guys, what you see here has the most impressive list of benefits of any food on the planet. It's clear that it can give you a precious help in improving kidney function and lowering creatinine levels, no matter the cause of CKD. Before looking at the therapeutic doses for spirulina, there is an incredible discovery scientists made about this alga. What scientists discovered about spirulina is that it also acts as a powerful antioxidant, helping to protect kidney cells from damage caused by these super reactive molecules called free radicals. This is really interesting because damage done to the kidneys by CKD is of oxidative nature. Researchers now believe that spirulina can prevent this damage by an increased production of nitric oxide. This could easily translate in a kidney protective effect that we can benefit from. Incredible! A fun fact now! Wow. Spirulina turns your mouth green and your urine green too. This is normal and okay. Now, unlike most foods, you must take spirulina in a very specific way to actually benefit from it. Don't take it in the morning. So let's talk about safety. Only use brands that can certify their products to be free of microsassins and other contaminants. Also, you need to know that this superfood can interact with the medications used after a transplant. Don't take spirulina if you are a transplant receiver. And obviously, spirulina can lower blood sugar and blood pressure. But you don't actually want those to become too low either, which means that if you want to start using this remedy, you should consult your doctor. And also consider using a health journal to track your improvements. This is one of the most effective strategies in the world to improve your creatinine levels. I've explained how to do this in my video up here if you want to know more. But don't take spirulina when the sun is still up if you don't want to be sleepy all day. Spirulina is, however, very safe as long as you follow these precautions and you take it in the right dose. Okay guys, time to see the therapeutic dose for this superfood. Spirulina is available in capsules, tablets and powder and can be incorporated in certain foods and beverages such as fruit salads and smoothies. It's very easy to find as most supplement stores carry it. Now, what dosage of spirulina should you take to get all the kidney healing benefits? In general, 1 to 8 grams per day of spirulina has been shown to produce benefits, but if you have kidney disease, less is more. For lowering cholesterol, doses in the range of 1 to 8 grams per day are best. For blood glucose control, effects have been seen with 2 grams per day. Blood pressure can be lowered at doses of 3.5 to 4.5 grams per day. Now, of all the dosages you see here, always consider the lower one if you have kidney disease. I know that not everyone following me has kidney disease. If you just have diabetes or high cholesterol, for example, you can go up with the dose. But if you have kidney disease stage 3 or higher, use the lowest possible dose. The reason is that spirulina is rich in protein and people with kidney problems can really benefit from a low protein diet. Although, if we are talking about just one teaspoon of this supplement per day, the protein you're going to get is minimal. And guys, the low protein diet is actually proven by science to improve your kidney function. I've explained how to achieve the goal of lowering creatine levels just by avoiding protein in my video up here. Watch it now to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.